No, my colleague, we continue our topic. Uh, and the next topic uh, of infection of skin is anthrax. Anthrax it is zoonotic infection, which caused by bacillus anthracis, which causes the destruction of the skin, formation of cambiuncles on the skin, and cause the formation of general forms of infection. Infection agent is bacillus anthracis, uh, which causes the formation of spores of bacteria, uh, which uh, synthesize exotoxins, which cause the formation of edema of skin, metabolic disorders of skin, depression of phagocytosis, and uh, Reservoir and sources of infection is farm animals, agricultural animals, goat, sheep, horses, camel, pigs, cows. So um, it characterized by contact and alimentary and aerogenic ways of transmission. And uh, those infections spread such countries, Asia, Africa, and South America. And uh, toxins of bacillus anthracis use as biological weapon in cases of bioterrorism. You see blood smear uh, with uh, bacillus anthracis. Sources of infection we spoke that animals, agricultural animals, cows, pigs, goats, sheep, contact with uh, patient, contact with wool of the patients, contact with the water, grounds, alimentary products, milk products, which infected by uh, bacteria of bacillus anthracis. So, uh, but the losantrosis cause transformate to spores in the ground and it keep in the, in the ground uh, for many years. Then it penetrate to the skin uh, of the patients on the wound of skin and it transformate to vegetative forms and it cause uh, formation of inflammational alteration and necrosis of skin of the patient. His sources of infection, goats, lambs. Uh, and uh, so vegetative forms uh, penetrate to the skin of the patients and synthesis of exotoxins. And uh, let's speak about pathogenesis of anthrax. Uh, and uh, exotoxins of bacillus anthracis cause destruction of the skin, necrosis of the skin, depression of phagocytes. But some of bacteria penetrate to blood and formation of bacteremia, endotoxinemia, syndrome of intoxication. Sometimes formation of septic forms of infection, formation of sepsis, and the toxinemia, destruction of blood vessels, destruction of uh, endothelium of capillars, formation of thrombosis of blood vessels, formation of secondary focus of infection because bacteria uh, penetrate to different organs. Yes, because increasing of permeability of blood vessels uh, and penetration 
bacterias with phagocytes to, to the lung, to the brain, and formation of secondary or metastatic focus of infection. Formation of general forms, pulmonary forms, formation of serous hemorrhagical inflammation of the lung or serosal hemorrhagical inflammation of the brain. Uh, disturbance of microcirculation, edema, hemorrhagia, and formation of coagulation necrosis. Also, uh, formation of septic shock, toxic shock, uh, disturbances of microcirculation, metabolic disorders, uh, and uh, so it's characterized by uh, polyorgans insufficiency, cardiovascular insufficiency, um, respiratory insufficiency, renal insufficiency, activation of gamma coagulation, disseminated hemorrhagical syndrome, formation of microthrombosis of blood vessels. Uh, so uh, bacteria cause depression of immune response, depression of phagocytosis, because it's characterized by prolonged bacteremia and formation of prolonged exotoxinemia, endotoxinemia, uh, and uh, formation of general forms of infection. Formation of cabuncles, uh, it is local forms of infection, uh, connection with the uh, necrosis of skin uh, in primary focus of infection. Formation uh, of cabuncles with focus of necrosis, because necrosis of the skin, inflammation of the skin, edema of the tissue, uh, and disturbances of microcirculation, formation of ulcers, and formation of secondary ulcers, secondary papules around uh, those ulcers. Uh, bacteria penetrate to lymphatic uh, tis, uh, vessels and then it keep in regional lymphatic nodes and cause uh, hyperplasia of regional lymphatic nodes. Then it in penetrate to blood and formation of bacteremia, exotoxinemia, endotoxinemia and uh, formation of secondary septic process. Morphological results, for example, uh, inflammational focus of infection, serosal hemorrhagical inflammation of the skin, serosal uh, inflammational hemorrhagical edema of lung, uh, and hemorrhagia uh, in internal organs. Hemorrhagia in the lung, in the liver, in the spleen, in the brain. Dystrophia of internal organs, dystrophia of the myocardium, of the liver, of the rings, secondary nephritis, secondary hepatitis, thrombosis of blood vessels. about the clinic of anthrax. Period of incubation from 8 up to 14 days. And there are some clinical variant. Uh, for example, cutaneous forms or cabuncles forms of infection. Uh, it's characterized by formation of spot, papule, vesicle, then formation of ulcers, formation of necrosis of ulcers, it is anthrax, yes, anthrax, with black color of necrosis, 
Black color of necrosis. Marked edema. Marked edema. Increasing regional lymphatic nodes. And secondary ulcers around those ulcers. Secondary vesicle around the main ulcer. Uh, it's characterized by uh, non-painful uh, conditions of those ulcers. There is no pain of those ulcers. Uh, so uh, then formation crest on the third and uh, second weeks characterized formation of crest on the ulcer and then formation of scar. Decreasing of the temperature, synthesis of antibodies, elimination bacteria, elimination toxins, and recovering of the patients. It's characterized by reduced uh, cabuncles, formation of the crust and scar on the skin. It is period of recovery. But sometimes we indicate uh, another variants of anthrax, for example, bullous forms and edematose forms. Bullous forms characterized by bull, ulcer, necrosis and cabuncles. At first formation of bulls, then ulcers, formation of ulcers, formation of necrosis with black color, and then formation of classic cabuncles of anthrax. Next variants, edematose variant, edematose forms characterized by edema, then formation of necrosis, then rejection of necrosis and formation of ulcers, and then formation of cabuncles with necrosis with black color. So uh, we must remember that uh, formation of uh, cabuncles, bullus, edema, so it accompanied the fever and syndrome of intoxication. But we indicate mild, moderate and severe forms. For example, in mild forms there is no marked intoxication and maybe uh, subfibril the temperature and there is no many cabuncles on the skin. In moderate we indication fibrility temperature and formation some cabuncles of the skin, moderate intoxication. And severe forms characterized by higher fever, intoxication and many uh, focus of cambuncles on the skin, toxic shock, face compensation, decompensation, and subcompensation, which accompany toxic shock, decreasing of blood pressure, respiratory insufficiency, renal insufficiency, disseminated hemorrhagical syndrome, polyorgans insufficiency, and death of the patient. Next form, general forms. General forms characterized by generalization of infection, penetration bacteria to internal organs, to the lung, to intestinal, and formation of sepsis, and metastatic focus of infection. Pulmonary forms are characterized by fever, intoxication, serosal hemorrhagical alteration of the lung, dyspnea, productive cough with blood disputum, 
or sputum is a character of cherry jelly. Intestinal form characterized by the fever, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, with blooded mixture, uh, and uh, bleeding from stomach. Um, so, and uh, very, uh, marked intoxication. So, septic form characterized by formation of general forms of infection, prolonged bacteremia, uh, when bacteria penetrate to internal organs, lung, brain, uh, and uh, so formation of secondary metastatic focus of infection. Uh, primary sepsis, secondary sepsis. Uh, in primary sepsis, there is no cubuncles on the skin, so it's um, often aerogenic mechanism of transmission. And secondary sepsis, uh, formation after cubuncles of the skin, characterized by fever, intoxication, gemorrhagical rash, splenomegaly, gepatomegaly, polyorgans insufficiency, formation of metastatic focus of infection, serosal gemorrhagical edema of lung, serosal gemorrhagical edema of brain, polyorgans insufficiency. And diagnostic symptoms of anthrax, of cubuncles of anthrax, for example, Secondary vesicle around the ulcer. Black crest on the ulcer. And decreasing of sensitivity of ulcer. And complication, toxic shock, meaning encephalitis, characterized by uh, loss of consciousness, paresis, paralysis, clonic cramps. Gastrointestinal bleeding, nausea, vomiting with blood admixture. Uh, and uh, peritonitis, intestinal paresis in cases of pathological process in gastrointestinal syndrome, formation of the ulcer of intestinal and penetration of the ulcer and intestinal bleeding. Uh, what about diagnostic of infection? Uh, it is very important to know anamnesis of the patient. For example, uh, contact with animals, live in village, country. Yes. Uh, yes. And uh, we must confirm diagnosis uh, of bacteriological methods of examination. Microscopia of smear uh, and the smear from ulcer won't be indication bacillus anthrax uh, and bacteriological methods uh, mucus culture, gemoculture, copra culture, yes, in general forms of infection. And serological methods when we indication antibodies of bacillus anthrax, serology examinations, when we indication the title of antibodies, uh, for example, reaction of precipitation and uh, luminescent serological analysis, indication of immune complex by methods of immunofluorescence. So we indicate allergic test, skin allergic test, uh, with anthraxin, which characterized by sensitivity of organism of the patient to those bacteria. Uh, 
uh, and we must uh, differentiate uh, anthrax with plague, with uh, erysipelas, with tolerimia skin forms. Yes, uh, we differentiate with plague because uh, there is skin forms, the bones forms of plague. There is um, ulcers with necrosis, very painful, with uh, serosal hemorrhagical alteration, exudation, formation of bubons in regional lymphatic nodes, contact with rodents, differentiation with uh, tolerimia skin forms, yes, formation ulcers with necrosis and formation of bubons in regional lymphatic nodes, contact with rodents too. Yes, but another character of ulcer on the skin. Then, differentiation with the borreliosis after bite of tick and formation of focus of erythema on the skin. Differentiation with erysipelas, it is streptococcal infection with formation with uh, flame erythema on the skin. So, methods of treatments of anthrax. Penicillin, mega doses of penicillin. 12 millions, sometimes 24 millions per day during a day. Doxycycline, for example, 100 mg to time per day during 10 days. Fluorokinolones, for example, Cifran, 500 mg to time per day during 10 days. And introduction specific. Uh, immunoglobulins for neutralization of toxins or, and for neutralization of bacteria contain antibodies of uh, bacillus anthracis. Uh, in mild form, we introduction 20 ml. Moderate forms, we introduction 40, sometimes 80 ml. Uh, and uh, at the severe forms, we introduction 400 ml of immunoglobulins. Immunoprophylactic of um, bacillus anthracis of anthrax uh, and uh, prevention Preventive disinfection, emergency prevention of infection, when we recommend to the patients uh, biosynthetic penicillin, phenoxymethyl penicillin, one gram three times per day during five days. Tetracycline for emergency prophylactic, 0 0.5 three times per day during five days. And disinfection in the focus of infection. Uh, but uh, if we treat the patient with uh, a sepsis, septic forms of anthrax, we administer two antibiotics in maximal doses intravenously. For example, penicillins and quinolones, for example, fluorokinolones intravenously, so combine antibiotic treatments during some weeks for uh, stabilization of clinical and laboratory test. You see uh, the picture with uh, anthrax, patients with anthrax. You see local forms of infection, cabuncles uh, of uh, anthrax, it is uh, cabuncles, cutaneous forms, papule vesicle, the information uh, ulcers with necrosis and then formation uh, black color of crest of necrosis. Edema, yes, edema of tissue. Local forms, skin forms, you see uh, ulcers with necrosis with uh, black crest uh, and marked edema of the face.
Cabiunculus forms. Yes, cabiunculus forms. Black crest on ulcer and edema of skin. Many cabiunculus on the skin. This period of recovering, decreasing of edema of the patients of uh, skin. So localization on uh, also on uh, on the lids uh, of eyes. Massive black crest on eyes and uh, formation of edema of the face. Uh, thank you for your time. Goodbye.